we got to Portugal, Lisbon, Lisbon, um, maybe about a couple of hours ago. And we checked into our hotel. This is a little room tour. Um, we came, we went out. It's been raining all day, basically since we left Madrid. It's been raining. Hello. Um, so we came to the closet. Oh, oh it's all the way. I don't feel like pushing. But yeah. It's a pretty nice and big spacious room. Nice king bed. We just had a turn down um, service while we were out for dinner. So we came in, closed our windows. I love like all the mirrors. So we have a couple of full length mirrors in the room. We have a nice view. I will show you. It's a steady view. It's pretty cool. So basically we checked in. So we came, checked into our room. Um, and then we went out for a walk, even though it's raining. We decided to, because we were hungry since we left our, since we left um, Spain. Really didn't, since we left Spain, we didn't eat anything. We had breakfast this morning at our hotel um, before we left and then um, went to the airport a little bit early because we weren't too sure. Um, I saw a couple of YouTube videos <clears throat> where, you know, some people got the PCR test. Some people said it did. Some people said it didn't. Um, but when we were checking online, um, it said you didn't need it. You just needed to have your COVID, your COVID vaccine certification um, certificate. So we only have our COVID vaccine. So we went to the airport early, um, maybe three, four hours almost, just to see, to give that kind of time in case we needed to take our, um, take a PCR test. Um, usually you'll get it. I've saw some places say you can get it within like an hour. So we were trying to be on the safe side. Um, so we went to the airport early. So we were kind of hungry when we came when took a walk went to this awesome place and got some pastels de nata we went to fabrica de nata i don't know if you can see it there we go fabrica de nata we went there got pastel de nata and then i got like a ham quiche and steven got a like a codfish something like a codfish bowl um, so that was pretty good and then we looked around so where we are it's almost like the Champs Elysees of um, of Lisbon is you have all your high-end stores so we're trying to look for somewhere that was more authentic Portuguese cuisine but we didn't find it but we had dinner at this nice place um, I just had a quick dinner. The food was good. It was more like I had um, a salad and Steven had a salmon. Um, so it was good. And then he started, he went back to get more pastels than I had for dessert. Because it's still kind of early. It's about 8.25. So we got dinner. We can have snacks later on and dessert. Um, but looking it's raining so and the whole time we're here it will be raining but i'm still trying to have a great time here in lisbon um there's so many things to see i think out of all of the european countries we were coming i was more excited to see portugal um because i don't know i just like it's just something that drew me to portugal so <laughs> we're about to see 
Um, but I just talked to our concierge downstairs and she gave me a lot of places that I can go. Um, I'm hoping that we go and do more local things. Um, yes, I want to do the touristy stuff also, but um, I just like being, a, I mean, when you travel, you want to immerse in the culture and the area that you're in, like have local food. I'm excited for, I, um, I love eating breakfast. And I think when you go to a new city, um, when your hotel have breakfast, especially when it's included, it's the best thing ever because you don't need to look around in the morning. You you know you just woke up. You you want to kind of feel your body a little bit, and then you can go and you can have your dinners. I usually don't have dinners at the hotel. Um, unless it's we're in somewhere like when we went to Abu Dhabi and that's no nothing else was around us. But I feel like dinner I don't need to have at the hotel. Lunch I don't need to have. But like my breakfast I want to have at the hotel, and I enjoy a good breakfast. So I'm looking forward to enjoying this. All right, we'll keep you guys updated. My pastel de nata is here. Good morning from Lisbon, Portugal. So it's good afternoon. I think it's after 12, right? I think so. Probably after 12, yeah. Um, good afternoon. So we woke up this morning, had a really good breakfast at the hotel, um, came, rested, and plenty, plenty our day. Now we're walking over to the square to exchange money and get on with our day so let me just show you guys around a little bit so this is the sort of Francis street you have a lot of really nice stores um a lot of designer stores here even on this side also. There is Gucci. Okay. This is Gucci. Okay.
make the most of Portugal, Lisbon, rain or not. This one. <laughs> Looks like 
Okay, so starting off, well, some people are fat, some people aren't. take pictures at um, and then we ended our day the next day we took tram 28 um, to go up into the hill the Lisbon is good on the, I mean it's on the hill so it's a lot of nice um, few points that you have I didn't get to film that day it was raining and I didn't want to have my camera out the entire time but that should have been our last day in Lisbon um, we just went out, we went to Viral Auto, I think that's what it is. Um, we just hung out there, um, did a few walking tours again, and we were getting ready to leave Lisbon the next day. We spent um, three, we should have spent three days in Lisbon. Um, I enjoyed my stay there. And um, would I go back to Lisbon? Absolutely. I think I would get to do more things to Sintra and other places um, for tours. We were supposed to be heading to Casablanca today at 1.15 but we're still in Lisbon. We're here for Hopefully just one more night um, because everywhere that we looked on Emma Rock website on um, Morocco COVID travel, travel restrict COVID travel restriction it said you had to have your PCR test or your COVID vaccine or green pass as they're calling it in Europe we obviously are vaccinated um, we've traveled at so many countries and all we had to show was, except for, which country was it? We were going to Dubai. We had to take a PCR test when we got there. And then we had to take a COVID test prior to leaving. So we had that. We got to the airport to check in. They wouldn't check us in because they said we needed to have both COVID test a PCR test and your COVID vaccine card. Um, so I went back and forth because I'm not seeing anywhere and I asked the lady, I'm like, what does it say it? Um, you know, if you're telling me I needed that and I'm saying that 
that's not what it says on the website or anywhere else then you know but anyways they showed it to us late eventually um because she said she didn't know she didn't have it so one of her co-workers sh um, showed some website and Steven found it if you're leaving from Portugal there's no exceptions from Portugal you need to have both every other country you're fine if you're leaving from Portugal you're not you need to have your PCR test and have your COVID vaccine card so we reschedule our flight for tomorrow same time and it was free well they even refunded me two two euro and 80 cent or something like that um, for the change I guess and we had to book another Marriott hotel that we're staying in tonight and now we're going to look for a place to do our PCR test and hopefully we can get it before our flight tomorrow can head on to Casablanca. We'll keep you guys updated. But at least it's not raining in Portugal today. This is like the first day since we've been here that it's not raining. So that's good. We get to do more things. Yesterday we could I couldn't film because I wasn't feeling too well. And it was raining the entire day. Like we just went into our hotel went to the grocery store and but we didn't even go out to like eat eat we just went to the grocery store and bought food we had breakfast at our hotel and then yeah so we didn't do anything yesterday so today since we have an extra day we can get to do stuff and it's not raining and it's not too hot but i'm not changing my clothes this sweats is getting my money out of it because I'm not trying to go in my suitcase and take anything out. Okay. So the hospital is closed. <laughs> and the hospital is closed, so we can't do our COVID test. It opens at eight o'clock in the morning. So hopefully we can take our PCR test. 
Flügel auf, man muss ihn auch in der Kante. Just left another pharmacy. They're open, but they're only doing the antigen tests, not PCR. So we have to do the test tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we're in Chicago. We came to Bao. We got a to go order. Last time from here because they were really crowded, they had a two hour wait. So we're hoping we can get food and sit in today. Let's see. I was so hungry I forgot to film until we're almost done and I realized that uh, I didn't film the food and stuff that we got but this place was really good no wonder it's crowded all the time the food here was in Portugal in Lisbon let's go check it out So we ended up going back to the airport after here um, to take our PCR test. Uh, it was ridiculously um, expensive at the airport, uh, but we wanted to be on the safe side. Our flight was a little bit early and we didn't want to take the PCR test like at 8 in the morning and didn't, and didn't get our results in time. So we went back to the airport pay the money to get our test i think within um six hours or something they said we got it in less than two hours um but we just wanted to make sure that we were safe and we were fine to board our flight the next day
องค่ะ